Family tradition says that you should never let the facts get in the way of a good story. And with that, I want to share with you the story of this canoe and my restoration of it. When I got started on the canoe, I didn't really know any of the story, where it came from, why it was the way it was. All I knew, it was a free canoe that was offered on the local classifieds. It had two major cracks in it that would need uh, removal and patching, and uh, it was ugly. <laughs> ugly, old, and dilapidated. I did learn on that first inspection that the canoe was a local canoe. It was called a Stream King canoe, and it was made here in my current hometown. So there's the first crack. The second one's just a little down further from that. It's a lot smaller, about three to four inches in depth and length, I mean, and uh, we're going to need to cut that out and see what we can do to refill that. So this fiberglass repair that we're just getting started here was really just the beginning to bringing this canoe back to new life. The two big cracks that the canoe had were ones that obviously had came from some abuse or damage, uh, perhaps in use on a river. And it took quite a bit of grinding to not just remove the cracked portion, but also all of that rotted and destroyed and deteriorated material that was around the crack had to be removed and now the patch is meant to cover all that up. Um, I'm patching it here with Bondo fiberglass resin with a fiberglass cloth, woven cloth on the inside and on the outside I'm going to put a fiberglass mat which is consistent with both the inside and the outside of what was done on this canoe originally when it was made. The story of which I still didn't know. Now with the fiberglass repair done, it was time to clean it up and get it ready for some Bondo fill on the scrapes and scratches on the bottom of the canoe. 
It's also time to get back to the story. I mentioned that it was a Stream King canoe made in my current hometown, Bountiful, Utah. This was marked on the canoe, the name Stream King and Bountiful, Utah. I couldn't find anything online that said anything about canoes being made in Bountiful, Utah, named Stream King, or, or really anything. The gunnels were another thing that just had to go on this canoe. I really didn't like the way they looked and really wanted something different. So I cut them off. It was about this time when I was finishing up the two coats of oil enamel paint on the inside and outside of the canoe that I was speaking with a fellow scouter who lives here in the local area also. And I'd mentioned to him that this was a Stream King canoe made in Bountiful, Utah. And it piqued his interest. It reminded him of an experience his older brother had had as a scout in making fiberglass canoes here locally. After finishing out the white oil enamel stripes on the canoe, it was time to seal the whole paint coat in several layers of varnish. To put the varnish on, I used rollers, and this really worked well to make an even coat on the varnish. In between layers, I sanded it with 320 sandpaper before applying the next coat. All of the wood trim that I put on this canoe also came from a free reclaimed 2x6 beam that I got off the local classifieds. It just needed trimming up and some sanding to get it all ready.
Back to the story of this canoe. So, as I mentioned, my friend, his older brother, had had the opportunity to build fiberglass canoes as a young boy. There was a guy here locally who had built a fiberglass canoe form and allowed scouts to use this form to build and make canoes. As I heard this story, the more I thought about my canoe, and barring all the facts, I assumed that this canoe was likely one of those scout canoes that were made back in the 60s and 70s. It seemed to fit. Some of the pieces were not quite done really well. The foam packed in the ends was a little bit random. And the quality of the build, the fiberglass and whatnot, was not perfect and really fits what maybe was done by a troop of scouts back in the 70s. So with that, that's the story I'm claiming, the story I'm sticking with. This was a canoe built by Boy Scouts a long time ago. It saw a lot of use. The bottoms were scraped up really well, and at one point it was damaged so bad that it was no longer worthy of the water. And now, I had the opportunity as a scout leader to bring it back to life, give it some new life, maybe finish it up a little better than it was originally, and give it a new life with some more Boy Scouts. I hope you guys enjoyed this canoe restoration as much as I did. It was a lot of work. It kept me <laughs> from doing a lot of other restorations the last month or so. Um, in that last month though, I've been on a few scout camps. I've spent over two weeks with boys over the last while, helping them build and grow, much the same way this canoe was for them back in the 70s. An experience to do something they'd never done before and to grow by the experience. This canoe's not perfect. My restoration by no means has been perfect either. I've learned a lot on the way, but it's been a fun restoration to do. And I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I've got a lot of footage that I got from building this canoe, and I plan on breaking, a, breaking it up into smaller videos to show the different pieces for those that might be interested in, in learning a little more how I did the different steps that I did. So look forward to those videos in the future. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be continuing to do many more restorations. I got a lot of things on my list of uh, tools and other things to restore and hopefully there'll be plenty to keep you guys watching. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao. I've heard a story, I've heard it said, I Come to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it, sometimes it calls you right in the room. Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head, bringing me fire.
bringing 